Hi everyone, welcome to Otaku Saga. I'm DK. I'm Rizzo. And I'm Zero. And today in Anime Reaction, watch episode 19 of ReZero. If you want to check out our reaction to the 19th episode of ReZero, hit that link in the description below. And be sure to give us feedback in the comment section because we love hearing from you. And as always, if you'd like what you see, subscribe to Otaku Saga. And don't forget to like and share our videos. And, and thanks for watching. watching. So, in this episode of ReZero, uh, Subaru Speechcraft levels up. Yep. Finally, uh, finally starts actually negotiating <laughs> instead of uh, pleading. Oh. I think Begging. he got. Uh, I think he might have gotten a little lucky with the white whale thing. No, actually, running into the white whale gives him a yeah. gives him ammunition and gives him a something to bargain with. I, I think he got lucky with the whole white whale scenario in general, like running into him uh, and then using it as bait to oh, man, give him some uh, again to negotiate with. Yeah. Well, the, the opportunities like that sometimes kind of just pop up, so he took advantage of it, so good on him. Yeah. It's a, um, it's kind of, hmm. I shot in the dark a little bit. Because, oh. yeah, I mean, he, he said that uh, all, all he was doing was um, basically just that. It, it was just a, a guess because of the traffic that was coming through. Because well, he, he made a he made a hypothesis. Yeah, an educated guess. Yeah. Um, he I mean he could have been completely wrong, but as it turned out, he was right. Um, obviously, he got lucky with uh, Wilhelm's Wilhelm El Duce. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll do. Captain Ahab, Ahab <laughs> with his uh, his connection to the White Whale. But I liked how this episode played out. Like probably the last like five or six episodes, it's just been like obviously it's been you know one one fuck up after another but well story of my life this episode kind of brought the series back to what I liked about it I'm still thinking that this could, could potentially be a huge fuck up because well even if they defeat the white whale and all this stuff you still not to answer the Roswell and Amelia because this deal doesn't really I mean other than getting rid of the white whale which helps out the entire world it doesn't help them at all I mean, well, it, it depends on how much Roswell and Amelia find out about the cult that's going to attack them. Because hmm. I, I think that'll play a major deciding factor in that. Because if you know they show up at the last moment with you know with help to defeat that cult, then it's a lot more forgivable that he's done what he's done, which is give away part of the mining rights to mine magic stones. Of course, then again, I don't think that, that, that any of the magic stones in the forests are being tapped. So it could be that, you know, they bring in uh, Krush and she, you know, uses her, you know, her money or whatever to, to build a mine. But since Roswell still has partial rights, then he starts getting income from that too. Yeah. Hmm. So, it, it could, so basically, it, it, he's able to tap the resources on his land without actually having a having to invest into it. Yeah, without having to invest in it himself. Okay, fair enough. So it, it could end up being a good thing in yeah. that regard. And um, then also, well, being the kind of the architect of it all, uh, Subaru could kind of win glory, uh, as it were. Familia in her uh, campaign to become queen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, but, but you know, with, with everything I, I did say, it still, I feel, was a little bit wrong of Subaru to offer a, offer that up because yeah. I don't think that he was entitled to offer that. Yeah. I'm, pr I'm pretty, fairly sure that uh, Subaru and Rem had a very long discussion about what he can and can't do. <laughs> That's true, and Rem would actually know. Yeah. Um, 
And I'm sure uh, I'm sure Rem is going to vouch for Subaru when they get back to the Roswell mansion. Um, so I mean, there, there's that, but it, it does seem quite odd to throw throw that in there. Um, I understand the need for it. It just it would be like it would be like me selling his car. Yeah. <laughs> it that that just be. I can feel the anger from here. I'll kill a motherfucker <laughs> with another motherfucker. <laughs> That's right. I'll crush you with DK. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Not but, what to do really. <laughs> but no, no, I mean that, that's that's basically it. Maybe maybe the car is a bad example, <laughs> but that that would be like, you know, like like um, I'm going to rent out your room for eight hours. There we go. Yeah, Airbnb. Or, or, or like say, um, like, like you had an emergency room visit and we had to pay a certain amount up front. I ended up selling your stuff to pay for it. It's not right because it's not my stuff technically, but it still helps you mm. in the long run. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, um, but yeah, I, I think this was probably one of the best episodes in the in this arc because it didn't end horrifically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I, I like sometimes how brutal this series is. But at, at some points, I'm just like, you know, come on, we're just spinning our wheels here. We don't need to see him fail, you know, for most of the series. Fifteen different ways. We yeah. don't need him to see him fail fifteen different ways. Well, right. like not all the time. I would like to get some story progression out of this series. I think I think the the failures really bring this story, you know, to a, to being a, a great anime. Hmm. I really do think it's the failures that make that makes it great, um, and so it. If I was watching this like back to back to back all the episodes, it probably wouldn't be that bad. But having to wait a week between each episode it makes it really help, frustrating yeah. for me that he keeps failing. Yeah, I, th- I, just, that's, that, I think that's just my personal opinion. That's also why I don't haven't in the past liked a lot of white foxes anime because they do this this sort of thing a lot not not necessarily the whole rewind time thing but they do have a lot of really brutal anime just like a lot of a lot of storylines with bad endings yeah overall yeah it just seems a bit uh, excessive to me um almost to the point of this just being torture porn at times, sometimes. But, I mean, it's turning around from that with the last couple of episodes. But for the majority of the series, I kind of had that feeling about it. They just want to, you know, uh, make Subaru the ultimate example of the universe's plaything. So, well, well, the jealous witch's plaything. I, th- I think yeah. that there was, I think there was another YouTuber. I forgot who he was, unfortunately. But he, I think he said it really nicely, and. ReZero is like, is, is you know, the emotional aspect of the respawn mechanic. Hmm. That, that's exactly what this is. I mean, it would be jarring, it would be frightening, frightening. And I mean, it is, it is trying really hard to press that, press that issue of you know, the general respawn. <laughs> what it's like for a normal person to be respawned all those times. Yep. Yeah. That's true. Well, yeah, if it was a real person, basically. Mm. Yep. Um, now, we did kind of kind of mention it during the episode, but do you think that the... Uh, oh, God, I forget her name. The, the, the girl with the purple hair. The businesswoman? Uh, yeah, Anastasia? The, yeah, Anastasia. Do you think that her forces are going to turn on the other forces? Because if you think about it, Anastasia, Anastasia is not out there with them, but Kirsch is. 
mm. which means that if you know they they go they defeat the white whale they could turn around and kill everybody there that's not part of Anastasia's forces, including Kirsch. And Kirsch would be obviously out of the running because she'd right. be dead. And there would be no witnesses. Yeah, because they're And out. you could just say, oh, they were killed by the white whale. Actually, what I think, if that actually happens, it'll have to be after the white whale's defeated. Yeah. Yeah, they have, then Anastasia turns and then gets credit for it. Kirsch is out of the race and all yeah. that. All right, okay. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm getting at. Honestly, if it were me, that that's probably what I would do. You would. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's a perfect opportunity. It is one of your yeah. biggest rivals. Well, not only that, I mean, when they're gone, not only do you get more prestige in your, uh, you know, in the campaign, you also get more rights to the magic stone mining as well. Hmm. So yeah, there's a lot more profit. Ooh. Yeah. There has to be a big time betrayal then in the next episode. Well, uh, I'm just saying about it. If, well, so Subaru is doing what he's doing because that, that cult's about to go and attack and kill Amelia. Right. If Anastasia knows about this, then that means that if they turn and kill Kirsch and all her forces, not only does she get prestige for killing the White Whale, right. she gets rid of Kirsch. And if she ends up killing, in her eyes, obviously this wouldn't work out in the actual series, but it, in her eyes, if she kills off Subaru and Rem, then nobody goes to save Amelia, and Amelia dies too, which means that two of her opponents are out of the race. Yeah. And she still gets the mining profits of anyone. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Probably the whole domain of Amelia's gone. Well, it's technically oh, Roswell's. Well, Roswell, uh, yeah, lay on nothing to like protect or something, so probably if that happened, might collaborate or start a war or something. Uh, it actually well, makes me. It wouldn't work out in the series because we uh, we know that if Subaru dies, he's just going to return by death. That's true. If Amelia dies, then Puck's going to end the world. So. Yeah. <laughs> so we know that that wouldn't work out in the series, but the character wouldn't know that. So, it makes me think that that could be her plan. So it just happened. Because we also have been shown that she's not exactly a trustworthy person. Oh, We've also been shown she's that, an opportunist. She, that uh, her, her section of the troops have extra, um, extra gear. Mm -hmm. Like they're, yeah. Like, what, uh, like they're coming into a prolonged fight. Exactly. The uh, the the guy, I forgot the werewolf's name. Ricardo. 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 Um, very charismatic for a werewolf. By the way, J just gotta say that. By the way, I do have to say with what he was writing, yo dog, I heard you like wolves, so I put a wolf on your wolf. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But anyway, so Ricardo actually said, you know, we have we have all this extra cargo because we are expecting, you know, it's always good to expect to fight more than what you are aiming for. I think it I think it was it was said better in the anime, but that's basically a little foreboding, perhaps. A little foreboding. They're expecting a bigger fight. Yeah. For either by thieves, Subaru uh, started thinking about the the cult, mm. and um, you know we think obviously a betrayal. betrayal. Yeah. Well, actually, the cult might make a bit more sense because, well, the white whale is a mob beast created by the white witch. Maybe the cult would know if it's under attack or something, and then all of a sudden, you know, one of our bases, one of our biggest weapons, has just been taken out. We have to investigate this. So maybe uh, Beetlejuice will make an appearance. I hope not. I don't want to ever see that fucker again. I have a feeling we're gonna see that <laughs> fucker again and soon. Yeah. You, you're not that lucky. I know. Yeah. I, I just never want to see him again. Anyway, anyway, so let us know what you thought of the anime and what you thought of our reaction in the comment section below. Yep, thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode of Anime Reactions. Always, I'm DK. I'm Zero. And I'm Rizzo. See you next time. time.